Okay, so I was thinking of video ideas, right? But then I thought of this one. How OP would TDX bosses be if you could use them as your own summons? Pretty cool, right? So, I mean, let's see. Apex Predator would probably be pretty good. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's Apex Predator. How is this not like OP or game breaking to just spawn it on your own? But I'm comparing this to the other bosses too, okay? So like, if you compare that to something like the Void or the Nightmare Void that can corrupt stuff, corruption, I'm telling you, would be so OP. Imagine if you corrupted like, like he uses the corruption ability, right? And then he corrupts like a boss and it just runs everything over while also killing the boss. That would be so just game-breakingly OP. So yeah, that, that's what I mean. But the Apex Predator, I mean, he's pretty tanky, you know? And he does have some pretty good attacks. And the Self-Destruct. The Self-Destruct is probably the best thing he has. Actually, I might put it in OP because of the Self-Destruct. Just because of that, actually. Yeah, just because of the Self-Destruct, I'll put him there. So, I mean, it depends on how much damage it would do. I'm not sure. They'd probably balance that a bit. Actually, he's probably pretty good, though. Anyways, Avatar... If Avatar was a usable thing, he'd probably be like, eh, like, spawning in the middle of the map isn't too good, you know? So, yeah. Calamity would be game-breaking. Like, he can kill 25% of the stuff on the map. He can spawn so many enemies along with himself. I mean, that would just be insane. That, that might be the best spawner thing here. It might be. It might. Um... Now the, I think this is the, which one is this, Contemptor? I know this is the Ravager, and this is the Striker, yeah, I think this is the Contemptor. I think the Contemptor would be usable, but not as good as something like Apex Predator, of course. But probably better than the Avatar, because the Avatar is kind of weak in HP. So yeah, I guess along with him, I'll also just rank all the other kind of these things, these Dread Knights at the same level. They all seem like they would do pretty similar things. Kind of like barracks units, like they're all just going to be pretty similar in power. The Corrupted Apex Predator definitely would be game breaking. He can also corrupt stuff and you know he's going to have to, he doesn't have a self destruct actually, but just being able to corrupt stuff, if you can corrupt stuff you're game breaking. Because like, not only do you insta kill an enemy, you also have that enemy running into the other stuff killing some other stuff too and if you can corrupt something really powerful that is just insane corruption top tier thing to have and he's also pretty tanky the corrupted Vatican mark 2 would probably be just because of his hp he'd probably be put in pretty good but his other attacks aren't really that strong and he doesn't have a you know like a self-destructive there but i wouldn't put him on the level of the contemptors so you know of course corrupted predator is gonna go and game break it. if it can corrupt something that's just insane bro like, what if this thing corrupts a Void Apex Predator, bro? Like, wh what, what is that going to do? What is that going to do? Anyway, let's also get the Engineer. Let's see, so he could insta-kill any flying enemies within range. So, he's just a flying counter. But, I mean, that's about it. I guess he's usable. Uh, the Eradicator Mug I see. That one laser swing attack can one-shot anything. That would just be... I mean, if he uses that laser swing often, that's honestly game-breaking. I might put Apex Predator in game-breaking too, just because of that self-destruct. Okay, but let, let's assume no one-shotting things, unless it's corruption. I, I guess I'll put him in pretty good then. I'll, I'll put him in pretty good. If that laser swing could one-shot things though, and if Apex Predator's thing could one-shot things, that'd be insane. Just, wow. Uh, Eradicator Mark 2 probably goes on the tier of this stuff, honestly. Like, he's usable. He has about 300k HP. He can do some minigun stuff and some other stuff too. Oh, wait! I forgot about the Corrupted Eradicator Mark 2's, uh, self-destruct. That thing has a lot of range and it can do a lot of damage. So, yeah, it definitely makes more sense that he's up here with, uh, these other stuff now then. I might put them all in OP then. Because their self-destruct is really good. Honestly... The self-destruct and the laser swing, is that worthy of putting it in OP? I, I don't know, we'll see as the list goes on, we'll see as the list goes on. Okay, Eradicator Mark 4 would be OP, okay? Like, being able to artillery, 
from across the map, he would just camp in the back of the map, artillerying stuff, bro. That is insane, honestly. Like, if you stack up a bunch of these guys, that's just gonna be insane. And of course, the Golden Eradicator Mark IV is just a level above him. Not game-breaking like corruption or flooding the map with enemies, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, Eradicator Mark One. So, he can stun the entire map with his rage mode. What else can this guy do? I guess he's usable then. Around like that tier, yeah. Uh, the Arata Dog is probably pretty eh as well. It just kind of runs into the enemies, you know? Uh, of course, if any of these bosses were spawner units, they would be OP because of their insane health. But, uh, remember, I'm like scaling them with each other, so. Would... Hold on, I'm actually kind of second-guessing this. Would Eradicate... Yeah, but you could, like, stack them in the back of the map. So, like, if you could stack a ton of Eradicate Mark IVs in the back of the map, that would just be OP. But, if this stuff could one-shot stuff... Okay. Let me decide now. Would this stuff one-shot stuff? No. It would be balanced. So, yeah, okay. Eradicate Mark IV would probably just be better. Uh... I don't know why I put the <laughs> Apex Predator clones here. Um... Okay, Golden Eradicator Mark, I see. He actually has a lot more health, so I'm honestly gonna put him in OP. Because he has a pretty insane amount of health, not gonna lie to you. Okay, you might be confused about uh, these stuff right here. These are the stuff in Endless that just have a ton of HP. So, is a just like insane amount of walking health good? I mean, I guess that's pretty OP. Because, like, they have a crap ton of health. They have a crap ton of health. That could just run over a lot of stuff, you know. That probably one-shots a lot of bosses, too, to be honest. So, yeah, they'd be pretty OP, honestly. They'd be pretty OP. Uh, the Heretic is pretty eh. I mean, he has that one laser attack. Does he do anything else? I don't know what real the Heretic really does. I don't think he'd be that good. Uh, the Hunter is kind of eh as well. I mean, assuming we're at his base form, there is a really OP version of him at, like, wave 128 and stuff. But, like, at their base form, probably not. Multiplier X would be pretty OP. Because you could just, you know, you could spawn two Calamities at once. You could spawn two Voids at once. Of course, it would have to be used in synergy with the other spawners. But it would be pretty good. <laughs> just as a duplicator for your bosses, you know. Uh, the Mystery Boss is usable. Because it does have a chance to summon Apex Predator. I haven't seen that happen in a long time, actually. Maybe they removed that. But it also can just summon the stuff at the usable tier, so... You know. Pretty much the same tier. Uh, the Exo Santa is probably usable as well. I wouldn't say he's on the tier of, like, stuff that can self-destruct or laser swing. You know? But... Yeah. Eradicate and Workforce stacking in the back of the map would be really insane to look at uh anyways plague doctor is probably the first nah on this list because like he can summon some stuff himself but what else does he do I don't, he's the weakest boss on this list uh the normal predator the normal predator probably wouldn't even be as strong as some of this stuff so like kind of a nah the snow predator though he has some really good freezing capabilities. If if he could one-shot freeze stuff, like he does as a boss, that would be game-breaking. So, I mean, just for the fun of this list, because this is kind of a joke list anyway, sure, we'll put the Snow Predator at game-breaking, because he could just freeze anything in one shot. You know what? Sure, we'll put that. The Revive Plague Doctor... Uh, he could spread the plague to a lot of stuff, but that doesn't really even do that much damage. I'll probably put him at... In kind of air tier, to be honest. He doesn't really do much damage with his moves. He just kind of has more HP than the other stuff in the air tier. Uh, the Super Revive John Toilet. He does have a crap ton of HP. But his attacks themselves aren't that good. You know, it's a joke, dealers. You know what? Put in game breaking. Why not? Uh, okay, the the wretched spawn. Let's see. What does he do? He can dig around the map. I don't know how that would work with uh you know though. Would that be good, the wretched spawn? 
He does have a crap ton of HP. I will give him that. Um, he kind of has basic boss attacks too. So I guess he does have a lot of HP, so I'll put him in OP. But he doesn't have a game-breaking mechanic like corruption or flooding the map or freezing everything or being a toilet, you know? So, yeah, he just has a crap ton of HP. The Void Apex... Okay, that'd be game-breaking. Because that is the most powerful boss in the game. Just on HP alone. He does also have a self-destruct mechanic. So, that would just be insane. So, um... <laughs> if Tower Defense X Towers... I mean, Tower Defense X Bosses were allowed to be spawner units... That is my tier list. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.